This seminar is brought to you by Triton. I'm Captain George Guys, host of Real Time Florida Sportsman. And I want to talk to you today about live well systems in your boat. Not only that, but taking good care of the live bait that you catch. You know, throughout the whole state of Florida, everybody's using different kinds of baits. It just depends on where you are. And methods of catching that bait and actually taking care of your bait varies from region to region. Um, but there's some tips that you know that you can utilize in any of these areas that'll keep your bait healthy and strong. I think a big thing is when you're netting bait, um, it's important that you use first off the correct size mesh net so you're not gilling these baits. If you're catching small bait, maybe small white baits, you want to use a quarter inch mesh where if I'm throwing on thread fins, I can use a larger, you know, three eighths to half inch stretch mesh. So having the right size net's important. Another thing that I found is when you're netting bait, a real important thing to do is to take that bait directly from the net and put it right into the live well. You don't want those baits flopping around on the ground, losing their scales, losing their slime. You'll notice that your bait will die a lot quicker. So any possibility that you can go directly from the net right into the live well, and I think you'll find that your bait will do a lot better. You know, you really want to have a good bait net. Uh, I can tell you on days that I've forgotten these things, you chase them around with your hand or your hat, it, it could be for a frustrating day. But an important tip that I can give you is when you're going to get a bait out of the well, do not dip in and take 15 baits out and grab one bait and dump them all back in. You just defeated the purpose of keeping those baits nice and lively. What you want to do is really scoop one bait up at a time if possible, take that bait, you know, and don't harm the rest of the bait. So one bait at a time, your bait will live a lot longer. Another big issue with your live bait is having the correct live well systems. You know, and you need to know the limitations of your live well. There's no sense in having a 20 gallon well and you stick 100 baits in there and they all die. You know, a good rule of thumb, at least in my area with threadfin herrings, is a gallon per bait. So if I have a 50 gallon well, I know that I can adequately keep 50 baits nice and hardy. I'd rather have 50 live frisky baits than 100 half dead baits. So you need to know the limitations of your well. You know, with live wells, an important thing is to have round edges. You know, you never want to throw baits in a well that with square corners. Rounded edges where the fish won't get caught in any of the, in the corners is very important. Um, this Triton is nice because it has two separate wells. We have a smaller well over here and a bigger well. What we'll do a lot of times is we'll use shrimp and crabs in a small well, and I'll separate out my thread fins or my white baits into another well. So that's really nice to have two separate wells if you're utilizing different types of bait. 